Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Scardifist here, and we're finally back with a brand new series. This time, it's going to be a game called Shigatari, released in 2017. Uh, the best way I can describe this game is Legionary's Life, but with Samurai instead. Uh, the suggestions that you guys gave me are all great, and I'm actually uh, practicing um, a lot of the games that you guys suggested, mainly Battle Brothers, except that it's taken a bit longer than I expected to actually get the flow of things. Uh, last week, I've, I've also been practicing Shigatari as well, and one person in this channel recommended this me that sorry recommended this game to me about i would say five months ago and i kind of like had it on the you know the back burner for a while but you know i thought since battle brothers has taken a while and i'm not lying guys that 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 game is tilting the fuck out of me right now. I thought, you know, might wanna might wanna play something a little bit more uh less a little bit less frustrating to say the least. That and well my city's about to go into lockdown tomorrow, so I got nothing better to do. But yeah guys, I've uh, practiced and let's uh let's get rolling into it, shall we? So we're gonna start the game right over here. Will we erase the current save? Absolutely. We haven't actually beaten the game yet, so this is gonna be and hopefully we can. Um and I plan on doing multiple seasons if you know the, if you guys like to or want more seasons, but yeah. I got a feeling that you will. Uh, so, like uh, Legionary's Life, and for those of you who are new and haven't seen the Legionary's Life stuff, uh, don't worry, I'm not going to make too many references to it. This is just because I know a lot of my core audience, you know, is with that. So, uh, like Legionary's Life, guys, you got the uh, stat points that you get from dying. Uh, it's a lot easier to actually earn points in this game than it is for Legionary's Life, but it's a lot, and it's, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive uh, to use these points, to say the least. Okay, so... Uh, you can have your name character over here and there's multiple characters as well that you can use and you unlock these by completing certain challenges or beating certain game modes now you know us we play on the hardest difficulty and we're just gonna run with the default nothing uh you know no bonus stats whatsoever and yeah uh okay i think we gotta go. use yusaku no kimi hmm well i i, I think i'm just gonna m m maybe i'll go Okay, I'll go with a simpler name that everyone can pronounce. We'll call this guy Billy, okay? Well, I know that's not a very traditional samurai name, but, you know, that's going to make him stand out in front of the crowd. Okay, so let's run into this. Okay, so you know you know me, guys. I can't be bothered to uh, read. And there's multiple starts that you can actually get uh, with certain characters. So I know for the default character, there's like three um, openings. One of them is you are a student of a dojo master that's about to commit seppuku, which is ritual suicide. For those of you who don't know, most of you probably know already. But for those of you who don't know, you do that in ancient, in like um, feudal Japan because uh, you you brought dishonor to your name or whatever there's another one where you're avenging your parents and then the other one is avenging your village after it got burnt down by the emperor so the goal is probably first to kill the emperor okay so what are you doing i'm trying to put it behind me uh yada 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 okay so this one's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit more challenging and i'm going to explain to you guys why so in a bit okay so we're going to move forward yada 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 and you can get certain but i'm going to show you guys more but there's like a lot of buffs you can get as well and there's gear you can equip it, it really reminds me of legionary's life but a little bit more fleshed out okay so the, here we have our zones and you're gonna have to clear pretty much all these zones before you get to a final boss fight right so uh let me show you guys really quickly these are your abilities these all can be upgraded think about uh training you have multiple stances as well that you can utilize to counter certain opponents uh because you know it's like rock paper scissors here certain stances counter the other or you know and whatnot there is no one definitive best stance um Per, you know, overall speaking. Seppuku there, you can just commit suicide, uh, reset the game if you want to. Your character's over here, and then you have HP values on your limbs and stuff. If you take, if you lose, um, un, if you go under 100 HP for pretty much any limb, there is a chance of death, right? It's it's more likely uh, if that's on the head or the torso, uh, but it can also happen if you just get under 100 on a shoulder, for example. Like, you might just get bisected by the shoulder or, you know, cut in half there. Uh, that's something I had to like, you know, figure out and kind of accept for, it, it took a while to get used to to say the very least. Your personality, this comes from the decisions that you make. So kind of like a good evil playthrough, whatnot. Think of this as like your virtue, but a little bit more fleshed out and more of a complex system. Uh, armor, sushi heals you and uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, now that we get got all those like similarities and whatnot there's gonna be plenty more but now that we got that kind of like you know brief introduction similarity out of the way i want to tell you guys uh the plan that i'm gonna be going with so you we start off with uh chudan stance which is just like default it's kind of like a jack of all trades uh, stance you know media meaning everything now my personal rule with games like this uh, is never try to jack of all trade stuff because you'll end up just not being strong enough later on to actually deal with specialized enemies and you're better off playing to your strengths than trying to cover up your weaknesses generally speaking right obviously this is you know 
But yeah, okay. So with that said though, uh, when we're going with shoot on stance, the build that we're gonna be running is a speed for uh, speed perception than shoot on. Um, that's the kind of main build. And this is gonna be very, very strong after if you can uh, survive the first island that you're going through. I know I'm doing a lot of explaining, but I, I just wanna get this out of the way here. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up with the speed over here and I'm gonna, you're gonna see why. All right, so um, because we're going with a speed build, we're gonna want equipment and loot that specializes in enhancing our speed. And if you look at um, each of these lands, it tells you, you know, that little uh, italicized font, what, you know, what each zone or region, if you want to call it, is specialized. So this is Sword Master, not Waki Master. The, you know, most of them are Stances, Gaidon Master, Usebo, uh, home of the Hasso Master. Now I'll tell you guys right now, a little bit of a heads up, Usebo actually has pretty much the best speed gear until very end game, uh, just in terms of pure speed only, right? Okay. So now we opened up uh, the map over here, and a little bit interesting uh, thing with Shigatari is that you can only go forward, you can't go back. So the way you want to move on the map is you want to make sure, at least in the beginning stages, you might be skipping if you're overpowered later on, and if you are, if you play it correctly, you will be, right? But you want to be playing so that you can cover as much territory as you can. Uh, obviously, you have to go here, you know, that first zone to start things off. And then you have what's going on over here. Okay, so if you choose to leave, you will automatically heal 50% HP on uh, damaged limb parts. This is really good. Uh, just a really good tip because you don't always want to go inside these zones because there's also in these zones several different events that can proc. And, you know, a lot of the time, let's say, for example, there's a zone where there, and I know this for a fact, there's a zone where you can buy food to heal yourself, right? Well, you might not always get that event. So a lot of the times it's actually better to just take the 50 HP guaranteed and just say, peace out, I'm going to live to fight another day. Remember guys, you got seven regions that you're going through. So, you know, you got time and you don't want to get yourself killed. You know, you're going into a fight with 40% HP on a limb and you're playing on a hard difficulty AI is gonna be smart they're gonna focus that limb right and you're gonna be forced to be on the defensive so to speak okay god damn I said knock the knock the plastic plate out of the way but it's all good all right so I'm gonna approach this here because I have full HP uh get in the boat okay so it looks like we have a bit of an argument between a samurai and a wanderer okay so if you've come to save Hazuki okay uh I already know what to do over here uh, I'm gonna do a question mark because I don't know who the hell this person is uh, and we're gonna you know Move forward. You also get XP from killing the enemies as well uh, Obviously speaking you can get more XP for certain if you um, kill an enemy a certain way I'm gonna show you that uh, in, in just a bit. All right So I'm gonna ignore the wink over here because I'm gonna kill both these guys the, the spoiler alert I'm killing both these guys uh, because in the grand scheme of things This isn't like uh, legionaries life at least early on where you know You make a massive virtue decision and you're kind of like locked into that path Otherwise, you don't get the benefit you can you can flip your virtue a little bit if you try hard here um, And you just do that by going through multiple zones right okay so makes sense yada 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 he's gonna bolt out of here as usual i'm gonna chase him down and oh i'm gonna overtake him with ease boohoo you're a wanderer uh let me go no i'm just gonna kill then you will die all right we're just gonna kill him okay so this is the combat over here and uh you have your energy your hp and your speed your hp you obviously can hover over it uh energetic think of that as your stance bar right uh but the difference over here is that in legionaries like like the difference over here is that the lower energy you have, the lo the more speed slash time it's going to take for you to uh, perform attacks. So you can see over here, uh, now you can aim at the body parts of uh, you know the opponent. And usually uh, you want to go with the head or the torso. All this other shit, um, quite frankly, doesn't mean anything. Like you go for the head and the torso, the arm. Like if you cripple the guy's arm, he's not. it's not going to stop him from swinging the damn sword, right? Not unless you like sever the arm, but that, that in itself is something we'll get to later. I know I'm doing a lot of explaining, but, you know, just laying out the framework over here. All right, guys. So, uh, he, in this situation, this guy is pretty much defenseless because you can see his pose. No weapon, so I'm not even worried. Contrary to the actual picture that we we're being shown. I'm sorry that the camera is kind of blocking. Um, let's see if I can move this a little bit to give you guys, like, a bit of a better view. Uh, you know what? I, I, I really don't think it matters too much, honestly. We're, we're, we're wrong with it in the center or close to the center right now. Because I was going to, you know, you know me, usually bottom right, but there's important shit at the bottom right. Okay, so he's defenseless right now. So you have two attacks, slash and thrust. Thrust is more, uh, it takes less time. Uh, and slashing does more damage. 
uh, there's not really an accuracy kind of thing. Um, it, it's really dependent on if they're able to dodge or not, but they won't be able to dodge if they have no energy. So the kind of goal here is you are very much, if you're a very aggressive player uh, and you don't have the proper stance, you're going to get punished super hard, especially in the early game, which is arguably the hardest part. You want to wait out the enemy until he's got no energy whatsoever, and then you just cap him off immediately, right? Uh, but you can't always do that. And it... it you don't want to find yourself in that position, guys. All right. So, like I was saying, guys, he's got no HP, so we're no, no weapon. So we're just gonna go with a stab. So 65 energy over here, and you're gonna see right now 53 damage. He can't do anything, uh, and I'm going to stab his chest right now because that was not what I was looking for. So you see that over there is the weak spot. If you kill anyone, an enemy by hitting the weak spot, you get 15 extra XP. So keep that in mind in the early game because each kill uh, for an enemy that's armed is about 50 xp not including the weak spot you get that weak spot at 65 and you saw it was pretty expensive actually to get these things so when you're stacking kills think of keep that in mind obviously there's going to be situations where you got to kill the guy immediately because he landed a hit on you and you're on defense right okay so uh what do we have over here so he's weak spotted doesn't matter and also something else guys uh you kind of want to do two successive attacks at once because I'm gonna show you why. You see, he bleeds out of here. If I did a slash and it wasn't a full, um, you know, it wasn't above 50 uh, damage, he wouldn't have died. And there's something else you gotta keep in mind as well. Even though the enemy is dead, like the stats say he's dead, if his body, if their body doesn't physically crumble or bleed out or the animation isn't kicking, they actually have an additional turn to whack you. Okay, that was something that was like completely threw me off guard initially. So you can see over here the 15 uh, XP helpless opponent. Oh, we didn't get the weak spot. Never mind. Okay, so you can see his armor over here. Just take this, and then six damage is better than what are we running over here? Oh yeah, that's way better. Six percent damage. This is gonna be swap with speed later on uh, if um, optional. Should I talk to this guy? Uh, yeah, we'll return to him because we gotta kill him as well. Incompetent and fool. Uh, I'm gonna kill him. Okay, so you can see this guy's armed right over now, and he's got uh, his stance over here. And he's probably doing a, what is he doing? He's doing Judon, which is strong versus Waki. Now, we're very lucky because our Chudan stance actually counters him, uh, so we don't have to switch stances. And I'm kind of against switching stances for the most part. Obviously, there's going to be situations where you have to, but if you specialize correctly, you'll never really have to switch stances, right? But that's just my personal play style because it, it takes too much stance power anyway. Um, but yeah, okay, so he's running with this over here, and because we don't really have, like, because you take a look at these strikes over here, guys, look how long it's gonna take, you know, oh shit, you guys can't see, oof, alright, let's move this up here, let's move this up here, because I was, I was looking at the second monitor, I was like, god damn, they can't see shit, alright, so now, now, now it's a lot better, right, you see it's like 98, um, you know, 98 time, or hourglass, or energy, whatever you want to call it, um, to actually hit him, right, that's a long time. So here's what we're gonna do. Our strategy is simple. We're gonna blink and wait him out. You see, you only have, an, you don't, you're not given the amount of time in total before he does something af until after your first move, right? So a lot of the time, it's not really good to go full on aggressive. Okay. So he's slashing high towards me, and I don't know where specifically he's gonna hit us, right? Uh, later on, if you level the perception stat, and I'm gonna repeat some of this again, just so you know, all because it's a lot to take in at once. But later on. We're going to be able to, with high perception, figure out exactly where he's hitting it. Okay, so he's hitting his high. So he's hitting the head, the left arm, the right arm. Obviously, it's going to change based on the portrait, right? Some people's, like, you know, if you're if you're holding the sword like this over here, obviously your arm is going to be high. But if you're kind of like, you know, just doing the regular true on stance, your sword, you know, your stuff's in the middle. And the only high part is your head, right? With that said, guys, um, actually, no, that, that, disregard that. I was talking, oh, God. I'm talking about the portrait, not exactly the stance, because if he changes stances, he's not going to change the image. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Okay, so he's slashing with me coming forward. You can also actually faint out attacks as well, but keep in mind, that actually uh, uses more energy. So I'm going to show you guys an example for a second if I actually have enough energy over here. I've got 33. What's uh, What am I running with over here? So weave and dodge. You, so these are your defensive options. You can parry. If you get a successful parry, you actually can stagger the guy, So and then you're going to have more time to attack him. Like, you're added bonus. Whereas if you dodge, you just kind of avoid it completely. The best thing to do um, for time's sake is to actually stagger them, but parries can be broken, and that's a whole different system that we get into later on uh, down the road. Okay, so I think I'm going to do... Hmm, I'm not really going to dodge right now. I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the fate. So you can see I'm going with a stab right now, and he is... It's going to take 65, right? Do I have enough time? Uh, this is, And this is where the math part of me like hates this shit, because it's 47, um, and I'm just going to... No, I do not have enough. I do not. I, I do not think I have enough. Do I? 
You know what? Let's try it. Fuck it. See, now, listen, guys. This is why I'm not good at math. Because he's dead, right? But look what's going to happen over here. Even though he's dead, he's going to have an opportunity to hit me. And that's going to be a little bit of... A little bit of bullshit. So I can't actually dodge this. So if you don't have the exact amount, you'll just fail immediately. So in that situation, guys, the best thing to do is brace for the damage. He hits me with a 63. I'm now very hurt. And as you can see, guys, this is exactly why you need to know your maps very well. Because if you're like me, oh boy, it's going to be a tough time. All right, but we hit him with the weak spot. And you can see that bonus XP, I believe, uh, coming in right now. And you can see at the very low, we had a couple of stats come in as well. Okay, so we're at 37 HP with this. And we've gone... Hmm, Okay, so what do we want to do over here? Uh, next thing, so we have 80 XP right now. Okay. Ideally, I probably want to consume the sushi. That gets the 40 HP. Yeah, that, that gives me, sorry, 40 HP over here. And I'm back to 77, so I'm not super hurt anymore. Uh, for our build, we're very lucky he didn't hit us in the leg, because if he hits us in the leg, that actually impacts our dodge speed. And, you know, that that is the bread and butter of our build right now. Okay, so remember how I told you guys you can only uh, go forward, right? Now, sometimes, the, the one thing I have a problem with this game is these lines aren't exactly the most accurate. So, uh, you can only go, you, you can never go backward, but you can go forward or straight down. Sometimes, this will show you going straight, but it will not count as going forward. So, to be safe, I'm actually going to head to this over here. And if the other, if the temple is available to us, uh, then we will, um, then we'll know for the future, right? Uh, Lee with the shack, Taylor. We don't really need a Taylor, guys. Uh, it's not really useful at all, to be quite honest with you. It just gives you bonuses on certain stats that you're going to be able to get better. It basically helps your personality, right? But you can already see it's uh, starting to shift it uh, with a couple of decisions. This heals us up to full HP. And look at that, guys. See, this line would have told you initially, well, maybe not. But like, if you're looking straight, oh, wait, maybe I can go up here. No, you're going... You're going backward, right? Now, the smart decision would have actually been for us to go up here and then go down. Because what this lets me know is that this beach is actually further ahead of the temple. But you can't see it visually. I mean, maybe you could... Con yeah, you, you can't see it, right? So when you're unsure, just go for the safe play. Um, now... Comes, now comes the important part in terms of regions that I want you guys to take into mind because not every single mini region within the landscape um, is equal, right? So you've got your like right, like the Usebo lands that we're here right now. So the way you're going to prioritize the spots that you want to go to are bridges and mountains. Those are your priorities, okay? Fuck everything else. And yeah, that, that, that that's the priority. And I'm going to show you why as we head to the mountain over here. Okay, so you have the mountain over here. Now, there's probably three events that can proc here as well. Rumor says the Tengu search. Okay, so we didn't get the event that I was looking for, but you actually, uh, if you answer certain like uh, dialogues correctly, can get a special sword, and you can continue to upgrade that sword, and so it's going to be the strongest sword in the game. There's about six upgrades, so you got to visit the you got to you got to visit the mountain and proc that event six times. This is a situation where uh, we just get a little bit unlucky, which is perfectly fine with us. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's going to ask a question. I've come from your nose, uh, guys. Do not do the other other options don't even try to fight these special enemies because they will freaking one shot you or they'll make your life exceptionally difficult um you know not until you've got like pre-enhancement points let's just say that all right uh what's a room no one can enter what room can no one enter okay you can basically google the the uh, actual the the responses to these so uh i'm gonna do that right now like i'm pretty sure it's a mushroom yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a mushroom. Yeah, it's a mushroom. A mushroom, 100%. Now, these questions tend to come in order uh, as well. So, yeah, a mushroom. And he's going to say, I am astonished, blah, 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 blah. He's not really going to give you anything, even if you fail it, for example, right? I probably shouldn't have Googled it, but whatever, right? But even, even if you fail it, as long as you, like, back off away, it's like, whatever, right? Just don't try to fight him is a lesson. Now, you got Tengu's nose. Okay, so this is basically good for mixing it up with, uh, in terms of, you know, uh, making your own food and you can kind of do that if you go to a if you find if you proc a chef in a village event But you know the likelihood of that is not exceptionally high uh, You know you, it's a one in three. Okay, so there's juice katani You have to actually equip these items as well and okay So next step is gonna be the bridge right and you can see because if I had gone to the bridge first I wouldn't have been able to go to the mountain right so I went down like this and it would have been good The best play would have been to, up to the temple then to the beach then to the rock then to this But I didn't know if this was behind right and it's not really that much of a loss. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bridge 
Now, remember how I told you guys that if you started with the uh, de Avenging the Dead Parents event or Dead Lover, I, I really can't be bothered to read, but it's just the ghost event, right? Uh, this was, it's going to be exceptionally difficult. Um, well, it could be difficult. There's a chance that um, the ghost talks to you on the bridge, and if you don't do the correct prompts, which I've never had, you get a permanent minus 20 XP debuff in the form of Depressed, and I just don't know how to remove. Well, actually, there's probably a way to remove it. I just have not been, I I've just been not uh, determined to play through minus 20 XP until I got to the option, right? The bridge is decorated with hanging corpses. So luckily in our situation right now, uh, it looks like we're getting the event that we want, which is more combat. Okay, so we're going to approach aggressively because we're just going to kill people, right? And this is going to give us, uh, you know, XP and for all that, you know, all that good stuff. So he's chewed on with chewed on. Um, a lot of you guys might be thinking, switch the stances to Hasso, which counters the chewed on. Really, you don't need to. You just have to make sure you time this guy out in terms of energy and then whack him. Because if he has no energy, think about your stance barring him to th to basically no stance in Legionary's life, right? Three stance bar, he's going to have to use all his energy to recover. And you got like free, you know, free two hits onto him. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, very simple. We're going to do a regular blink over here, slashing high towards me. We already learned what happened last time in if we tried to beat him, uh, right? How long is this going to take? 75 energy, not worth it at all so what we're gonna do guys is you can just basically kill time over here and just say okay i'm going to uh wait it out a little bit you know you're not really yeah you get what i mean just wait it out and the reason why you actually want to wait this out as well um and this is um particularly true for parrying if you go to defend right away if and if the ai especially on higher difficulties or hard difficulty if you give them enough time they will actually faint you out and they might get another attack in and your your defense is just useless um you know, and that, that, that you want to avoid that. So you basically, ideally in the in the first island, you want to make sure that you hit that defense when you have basically no time left to spare, because then they don't have time to fuck you up with a faint, right? That's the general philosophy of it. So, uh, oh, you see, look at that. See, guys, already already bad habits <laughs> that I was trying to do. All right, so he's at 82 right now. Uh, do we? It's it's gonna be 47, right? Okay. So now I think yeah, you can see right now we're gonna do a weave dodge. Now keep in mind, guys, your dodges and your parries can fail. Uh, so, you know, but that's gonna be less and less likely as you continue to upgrade um, certain things that like you know your your perception or your or your uh, your speed because they also improve dodging aspects. So you can see he's tired right now, and then what we're gonna do now, because we're actually tired from doing our dodge, uh, we can actually wait it out, and we're gonna do something like this over here, and you can see we're back to energetic, right? So let's wait him out a little bit more, and 25, that's gonna give us probably 62 on that. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna go for a nice little weave dodge again, all right? Um, and yeah, and you can see that uh, certain things are gonna cost more. So weave is two energy, whereas disengage is four. Uh, with our build, technically speaking, the disengage is better, but because it's the early game and the enemies haven't had enough time to scale as hard yet, we can still make use of that weave dodge, which is a little bit cheaper, but this is almost the same effect, right? Typically, the stuff that's going to cost more energy is going to be more impactful if you're successful or not. Uh, but because we're leveling up both speed and perception, this is not really much of a problem with our build right now. Um, this build probably has a bit of an issue in the late game, just a little bit, uh, because there are some RNG aspects that I'll get to later on. Okay, let's get let's focus a little bit more into the combat. I feel like I've been talking nonstop for a good 23 minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, okay. So he's on the tired right now. He's waiting for me. Very simple stuff, guys. Uh, 63 over here. I'm gonna do a weave dodge as well. And yeah, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna keep doing this, guys. Uh, and eventually, this guy is gonna run out of time. Now I'm gonna do a brow wipe right now. Very smart. Look at that exhausted over here. He's slashing toward me. This is the last guy before I get a free hit off them, right? So uh, what we're gonna do right now is we could probably wait it out a little bit longer, I would say. And now we're gonna do a dodge because he probably didn't have enough time for another attack. He definitely doesn't. Yeah. So you can see over here, he's exhausted. I know for a fact without a timer because he's exhausted, he can't attack. He's gonna be forced to recover so i'm gonna go for a stabby boy onto his head so you look at that 20, 29 net nothing and i'm very lucky because he just so happened to be the weak spot over there right so he's almost dead uh once again guys now we're gonna do our regular defense and boom you can see how close it's actually coming so you don't want you 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 do not want to you know gamble with these numbers i know i say i'm a gambling person but in this game not so much so we're gonna go with a double stabby over here because a slicey might not decapitate him and he might have another chance to kill us he's exhausted right boom 
bleeds out, he had 49. If we slashed and it wasn't a 100%, he would have had another chance to hit us. And then, you know, there's multiple battles coming toward this and then we're in trouble. Okay, so we get this katana as well. 8% damage boost. Very, very nice. Uh, this is not good because it lowers our speed and we're all about taking the speed build over here. Right, guys? Okay, so make sure as well that you equip stuff in between texts because in you can't equip during battle for obvious reasons, right? Just not going to happen. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so the next guy comes over here. We're just going to slice this guy up. Very, very simple. He's going with Judon stance, I believe, and we're strong against this. Very, very nice. So we're going to do a regular blink to see how much time we have. Okay, so we got we, we, we got a little bit of time to work with here, which is good. This lets me know because he's at 131, maybe depending on how long the thrust is going to take. Okay, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm being a little bit too ambitious because it's not the exact... There's still... Yeah, uh, 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 I'll explain to you guys, you know, the rest of this stuff the further on we get into the series. Okay, so guys, because of that, I'm actually just going to spam this until I'm actually able to just dodge it out because I, I, I really don't like taking risks this early in the game. Um, the hardest part, I would say, is the early game and the end game if your build doesn't scale um, relatively well, right? Not The mid game is a fucking breeze. Um, simple as that. All right, so what do we have over here? So 125, 65, do we have enough time? Oh my God, look, what I tell you guys, we have just enough time to dodge it out. So he dies out, see? Now typical stances will cost more. So if you're in that upper Judon stance, it's gonna take the most time, but you have one shot potential because you're doing so much damage. Certain stances also don't have a, a availability to the thrust or the, the stabby or the slicey, right? So you wanna kinda keep that under check as well, right? All right, let's go, let's go. So I don't want any of this shit. Inventory space is also very limited, so I don't care. Okay, so we have, ooh, we gotta be careful, we gotta be careful. We gotta be really careful. All right, so now you can see, guys, we have an opportunity to upgrade. I'm gonna do a double speed upgrade over here, and then I'm going to do one more, and then I'm gonna catch up with Perception afterwards, then look to max this out, then catch up with Perception, then shoot on. You can make an argument, if you're experienced, you should probably just shoot on max to, uh, what is it, the 155 to get the 20% bonus speed, which is good, which is, which is decent in my opinion. You can also do that, but I just value the speed a little bit more uh, right now in terms of... Um, getting to the max sooner so my dodges are a little bit better right but you know debatable you can either max this to 155 or look to max speed and capture like there's a lot of variations that you can do in terms of leveling this build up but yeah like i i basically haven't tried getting chewed on to 155 simply because these two things are so terrible that you you're better off getting the uh, like immediate speed Right, 20% is really, really good. I don't want to dive too much in the theory right now. 20% is really good, but that's 300. Okay, that's like, you know what I mean? Like, that's over, like, it, too much. That's 400, actually. Where's my math yet? Like, I'd rather get the speed immediately than wait it out. That's how, that's how important speed is for, for this particular build to succeed. And who knows, maybe I'm not even playing shoot on correctly, um, for all I know, right? I, I think I am, though. Okay, so this guy's in Hasso stance, which is strong against uh, Gaidun stance. We're not in Gaidun, so it doesn't matter. These are kind of neutral situations to be in anyway. Uh, I'm going to blink over here, and you can already start to see stuff's taking a little bit less time to uh, do. See, look at that. It's taking a little bit less time, so that means, yeah, we're going to have more opportunities to uh, kind of weave in attacks and dodges. See, 45 instead of 47, big difference now. Right, so you get him on that. All right, how much is the thrust gonna cost on this guy? So 71, all right. So I already know for a fact that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna show you the faint right now. So if you're playing a different um, stance or a different build, faint them out, and then if you still have time, fuck him up if he's trying to defend, right? He's slashing to us because he's already committed to attack, but sometimes he, like, if we, you know, if we opened up, he might just try to guard his head his, bo his lower body's exposed. Just fuck him up like that, right, guys? Okay, so we're gonna brow wipe this shit again, as usual. I'm not very concerned about this. Just continue to dodge. Uh, you know, you're gonna get free energy. And yeah. Okay, so sa same same thing again, guys. Same thing again. Uh, we could probably we could probably get a dodge out here. He's still committed to this uh, at this point. Uh, we're gonna wait this out again, guys. Same little thing. Very, very nice stuff for us. And you can just see... Uh, Oh, and look at that. He's tired now. All right, so we're going to go for a stabby onto this person's head. 29 extra. I'm comfortable with that, guys. I'm very, very comfortable. Now, that's not the weak spot, so we're going to go for the chest, right? If it's not the chest, it's usually the head and vice versa. Very rarely have I ever seen a weak spot on a fucking shoulder. Very fucking rarely. But maybe that's just because I haven't played the game enough. Uh, who am I kidding? I, I, I practiced for probably 10 hours or so. Uh, di dying seven hours. Uh, and, and like, you know, bullshit, saying bullshit over and over, but I finally figured this shit out, right? 
All right, guys, so we're gonna go for a stabby right in the chesty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. So see you guys now, you have more time and boom. Now this is gonna be a lot more tight if you're not leveling speed. Um, if you're not running with a speed build, which is why I recommend you put at least two points into speed because it makes such a big difference. Okay, so he is, uh, oof, what is he doing? Because you imagine if it costs you like 60 to dodge uh, or like 50 to brow wipe, right? You're not working with that much time here. Like, you're you're in a bit of a pickle. Like, this is a luxury right now. We probably put too much into speed. Um, we really didn't because the enemies are going to scale stronger later. We just know what we're doing right now. That's why things seem to be going good, right? So stab him. Beautiful. And then he bleeds out. And you still have time to dodge even if he didn't die immediately. Right, guys? So, yeah. Broken Katana, he didn't really have anything good. So, the reason why the bridge is so important, and I'm going to hover back to that point right now, is because you're going to, if you pick it correctly, you're going to have so many enemies coming towards you, it's just free XP over and over. You're just grinding shit again and again and again. Everything else is like, yeah. All right, so this is an example of his stance being better than ours. Now, this early into the game, guys, you're going to want to switch to something better because he could just fuck us up if we're not careful, okay? So he has 94 slashing low towards me. I'm lucky that I actually put more points into this shit. That way I can counter some of this stuff. How much is going to dodge going to cost here? Still 45, which is very, very good. Okay, so we're going to just brow wipe right now, uh, and then we're going to get to a regular defend, and then yeah. Misses as usual, and you can see that, uh... How much is it going to It's going to cost 80, right? A little bit more expensive, but it's worth it, guys. You just have to time this guy out in terms of stats over and over and over again. Uh, that's the general strategy that you're looking for with Shigatari. Um, let's, let, 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 let's finish up this entire scene, and then uh, let's let my voice take, you know, my throat get a little bit of rest over here. I've been talking for a long time, which, you know, I like. Okay, so, uh, as usual... But yeah, I, I think I've explained combat pretty well in the game. Like, I've done my best to, like, kind of summarize it for you guys. Uh, but yeah, any questions? Ask me in the comments and I'll happily answer. I'm not an expert, but I, well, I would say I'm not a complete scrub anymore at this game. All right, so let's wait about. Now, some of you might be thinking, man, I just want to run them over. And if you do, use a different stance. Because I tell you right now, this is not the stance to run them over by just spamming neck strikes. Let me tell you that. This is very, very, like, weave in and out. And then finally, psh, stab him when he's, like, tired and exhausted, you know? Uh, but yeah. That, that's the style that we're playing. So basically, we're being a bitch. Uh, uh, you know, guys, sometimes it do be like that. Sometimes it really, really do be like that. I didn't choose for Billy to be a bitch, okay? I didn't choose. Well, I kind of did, but, you know, you get my point here. All right, so we're going to go with a thrusty boy. A sl you know, a stabby boy, sorry. 28 time. Oh, my God. Now, what did that tell you guys? This is why you level up speed. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. He's got a shitty weapon. He's got a bo -Katana. Never mind. He's got a really shitty weapon if he's doing only three damage. He's got, basically he's got wood instead of a sword. If that was a legit sword, oh my goodness. Uh, we would have been in some serious, serious trouble. So we're going to go with the chest, guys. I'm just going to thrust him. We got exceptionally lucky here. See, he's wearing a Bulkan. This is the weakest weapon ever. There's actually an achievement to beat an enemy with just this. And I'm pretty sure it unlocks the character. Uh, if you do that, so, yeah. Such weakness. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, so we win this. Okay, awesome. Um, but yeah, these are two, but that was like, uh, one of the three possible events that you can get. The other one is there's like a battle between warrior monks and samurai, and you just like go through 10 of them and get, and you just, if you do things correctly, you farm up so much XP, you scale ex like just as well as they do, right? Okay, so guys, uh, now it's going to be for me, mm, I'm going to be doing perception right now. And the reason why is because it's going to let me see specifically where they're attacking and possibly work with some parries and that kind of stuff, right? We've been a little bit unfortunate in this zone so far because we haven't gotten the Usable armor, which is a plus 15, I believe, speed. Uh, and that's like, that would like juice us up to like 30 uh, for dodge. And that's just, yeah, that'd be really good. All right. So the general direction, and you have a choice over here. You can either guarantee fight this guy or come down here and, and stack three over here. Honestly, guys, I am more inclined to do the latter option simply because I don't know if this guy can land a hit on me. And if I get hit on, right, uh, I'm not going to have enough zones to fully heal, especially if there's good shit in the city. Uh, right? It's just that's just not the case. I have any good kits? Okay, let's take a look. We can probably sell the nose, uh, sell the katana. You don't really need this bullshit if you ask me. Um, sell this as well because I just want this. And yeah, over here, you guys, you can... 
you can see they also the vendors kind of sell stuff as well personally i'm gonna like most of the shit that they sell is kind of useless except for food because the gear that you get along your way is going to be just better all right uh tell me about gadget uh, a lot of the times finishing these tech these um talks will give you xp as well which is really good like there's an option to meditate um and that's going to give you like super 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 um like i think it's like 80 xp 60 to 80 xp give or take okay so guys uh we're gonna do here 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 because you can see we're still trending upwards uh there is an option for us to skip the village and just go doom doom doom, doom over here uh and this is where your counting skills have to come into effect so if we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten remember i told you guys you want to you want to hit as many of these as you can in the beginning right because it's going to give you the chance for the gear um whereas if opposed to this it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right now what does that say guys what does that let you know is better and this is and what's even better is one, yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven obviously this will change depending on um what zones you're able to hit guys because i'm gonna be honest with you certain zones are significantly better like for example i told you waterfall guaranteed xp guys but what i do know for a fact is you're gonna go here right we're going here to the beach for sure uh what happens next is uh, up to you know whatever so we got full uh hp on the limb so we can afford to enter over here uh hello samurai i sell fishing nets uh no i am just wondering you talk to this guy you actually get xp i'm pretty sure right yeah or if not, then it's like, rip. Oh, we don't get XP. Well, I mean, you get too ungracious. And guys, listen, if you max out a personality, uh, you get a pretty good buff, right? So, yeah. Okay, so now comes the decision that was uh, actually, uh, that was plaguing me a little bit. I told you guys you want to hit as many of these as you can, but some of these zones are really garbage. So I actually am going to be su uh, probably switching it up. I think I'm going to be going like this, simply because I do not value, I value the waterfall tremendously over any of these other zones. There's not another bridge at all. So yeah, I'm going to go here. I I'm going to do that method. And we're a little bit unlucky right now because we're not actually getting a lot of the pieces that we're looking for. Um, I'm a little bit behind in terms of... All right, I'm going to kill this guy now. Fuck this guy. I, I, I need the XP right now because I I'm not getting the armor that I was hoping to get. And listen, guys, sometimes you got to slaughter innocence to get that XP. You know, it is what it is. Uh, the world ain't black and white, right? Now, some of you might be questioning as well, do you ever use Slash? And yes, but you... The answer to that question is yes, but you'd want to use Slash after like in, in like pretty much in the mid game it's too risky in my personal opinion uh in the in the early game it's just too risky because it, it takes too much energy right okay you could mm, this is difficult because i could just say fight these guys uh but yeah, it, it is a tough tough sell guys i'm gonna tell you that all right we're gonna do this We'll kill as many. Oh, perfect. You have failed your duty, peasant. I have not. Yada, yada, yada. Our Lloyd Usebo side with the farmer. Uh, if you click die, you just automatically kill the guy who, the, the Imperial guy, I think. All right, so it's the same stance. This guy might actually have what we're looking for because he's an official of the Usebo. Remember, guys, I'm looking for the Usebo armor or the Usebo katana. Both give you speed. Okay, so what are you doing over here? What What, what is your game plan uh, against me? Hmm... What is your game plan against me, my friend? Let's wait this out a little bit. All right, he's thrusting. Now, now, what I tell you, he's fast. He's fast. 83, guys. 83. We're lucky it only takes 31. How much does it take to dodge? 45. We're not going to risk it. Weave it. This is why we leveled up perception as well. Okay, so he's almost, yeah. We, we, we can't afford to do any damage right now. We're going to have to wait him out. Look at that. Thrusting. Okay. Oh, he's slashing high toward... Ooh, that one could have been an exception, guys. That one could have actually been a bit of an exception. Okay, let's dodge him out. Okay. Holy moly. And just like that, guys. Let's go. Now he can't do anything? Nice. Beautiful. Now, Slash has the potential, if he's weak-spotted, to one-shot. Um, or later in the game, if you have more damage, there's a chance it's just one-shots, even though it's not a weak spot. So, that's why you always want to go with the stab, because it'll pretty much, for the entire game, never one-shot if it's not a weak spot. Pretty much. 
And then that's just basically 15 XP, right? Oh shit, why am I doing that? That's so bad by me. Jesus. Alright, so what is he weakened on? Head? Yeah, let's kill him. Beautiful. Nice and slow. Alright, so he's got a she Oh, this is terrible. He's got nothing good. My goodness. Okay. Uh, thank you, Samurai. You saved my town. Please take this gift. Oh, thank you for the Tengu nose again. I'm going to probably sell that for seven gold or seven, whatever the currency is. Yeah, next challenge awaits. Okay. So, guys, remember I told you I value that waterfall a lot because uh, waterfalls can actually cure any of, um, a lot of afflictions that you have. Uh, I don't know if it cures the depression debuff. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Or I haven't been... Um, I haven't been unfortunate enough to get the depression debuff and not be able to get like just yet, but I know it for a fact it exists. Because usually when I get it, I just quit. I never get to the waterfall stage, right? And now it's just in practice. You need to uh, uh, wait and listen. Interrupt. Okay, so we can kill both of them over here. Just kill him. Because if we if we wait, he kills the other guy, and it's just bullshit, right? Okay. So what are we doing over here? He's in the wacky stance, I believe. All right, so he's slashing high towards me. Not really concerned at all, guys. I'm just not going to respect him too much because it's taking him so much time to just to hit, light a hit on me. Right? It's just, it, it is what it is. Now, how much is the thrust going to cost? That, okay, so that's going to cost too much. You see, 71. You're going to be able to actually get this down to like 50 and 40 if you max speed out. And then, oh my god, then it's just, uh, then it's just, then it's just like fucking have fun. You know? That's what it becomes. All right, so we got him weakened out. Very, very, very 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 nice let's get, let's do a little let's do a little bit more over here okay guys let's do a little bit more over here so um what are we doing right now uh can we do this oh uh oh okay well you see guys i was a little bit greedy over here that's my fault and see he's smart he's smart because look what he's doing guys look what he's doing look what he's doing he's going straight for my legs how much is it going to take now for the 78 look at that difference so now i'm going to tell you what happens oh shit we're in trouble ah uh, fuck all right, we gotta kill him immediately. Slashing mid towards me. So if he hits you in the leg, guys, you in this situation, uh, if if he, if he even hits you in the leg once, just pre-dodge. Now us, we're gonna have to. It's a rat race. He hits us for sixty-nine. We hit him for eighty-three. Please give me something good on him. Okay, we might actually just lose the game over here. That was really bad by me. A little bit greedy, guys. A little bit greedy. All right, guys, so in this situation, we didn't want to fight him. I'm going to explain. Because if he hit this in the torso one time, dead. All right? Torso one time, GG. And you know for a fact you're going to aim for that. Or, you know, tries to completely slice the leg off, and then we're just dead regardless. Holy shit, that was close. Whoo! It's an example. Remember, you're extremely fragile. One hit is the difference between living and dying. So 75 XP over here. Good, 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 good stuff. All right, we're going to boost speed again after that. Going to catch up with the perception and then um, see what we can do after that. All right, so let's go. Holy moly. My goodness. Well, now you know what we can't do. We're going to have to avoid these fights over here. But that's why... Yeah. At least we got to kill, guys. I'm a good... There's no such thing. Get out of my property, scum. Side with the merchant or the farmer. All right, guys, we have to uh, we have to pussy out. I'm not because I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. I'll tell you right now, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Not today. Mm -mm. No sir. All right, go up here and then rest again, then go down here. But you can see how frat. This is gonna be an extremely hard boss fight. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be really fucking hard. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Very, very uh, much longer than usual. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. 